Hi everyone, welcome to Mechanics of Music. My name's Caitlin, and in this lesson we are going to learn how to play the ukulele with a pick. Why you would use a pick, how do you hold it, how do you do it, and more. So grab your uke, make sure that it's in tune, and let's get going. If you purchase the Everything You Need ukulele bundle that I put together, you actually get three picks included in this bundle. If you don't have those, if you don't have some picks already, there's some links in the description of where you can get some picks. First things first, let's answer the question of why would you choose to use a pick? There's many answers to this question. Number one, you might just like the sound. The sound of your fingers strumming or even your nails is very different than the sound of this felt pick on your strings. Reason number two, some people, especially kids, find that strumming kind of hurts their fingers at first. It doesn't help that when I teach a group of kids, one of the first things I teach them is the big epic finale strumming. So one poor guy got a blister after just one hour on the weekend. So anyways, it might just be a practical thing because it feels better. Another reason is for me, I like to use a pick if I'm playing something that's a bit more fast and punchy and I want to be really accurate and even just a little bit louder. And I can't quite get that same uh, effect with my fingers. So a pick may be something like... If I tried that with my fingers I would have to do like a... It doesn't have the same punch, you know, or with my thumb. It's just a lot more work. So pick, I was able to actually go down and up. The last reason is, for example, I teach a lot of seniors as well, and some of them have different things like arthritis in their wrist, or maybe they've broken their wrist or a finger, and they just can't quite get the right angle or the right twist or anything, and they just feel more comfortable using a pick. So those are a couple of the top reasons why you might choose to use a pick. As always, I encourage you guys just experiment, have fun, see what you think. Do you like the sound? Do you like the way it feels? You might choose to use a pick for some things and still stick with your fingers for other things. It's up to you. Now, how do we hold the pick? First, take the pick in your left hand and hold it by the very tip. Now take your right hand, your strumming hand, and cover about half of it with your thumb. Then you're going to grab it on the other side with your index finger. You want your other fingers to be loose and relaxed. You don't want them in a tight fist like this. Now you want to hold the pick not too tight that everything's really harsh and difficult, but not so loose that you're going to drop it. You want to see a little bit of movement in the pick as you brush. It's kind of moving in my fingers, but if I hold it too tight, that nice. If I hold it too loose, wow. All right, well this is a great time to show you how to get a pick out of the inside of your uke. The method I like to do is that you keep it right side up like this and you're gonna just wiggle your uke until you can see the pick right down in the sound hole. When you can see it there in the middle, you're just going to flip it over upside down really fast. Then you're going to shake it a bit and out comes the pick. You'll probably get really good at doing this. Lots of time to practice. There's always just the old turn it upside down and shake it indefinitely until it comes out. So now I'm going to play my C chord and I'm just going to strum my pick down on the four strings. Just like normal, really soft, brushing on all four strings. I'm not coming down too hard on any one string. Let's tip this down a little bit. My wrist is really relaxed. My fingers are out. Beautiful. I can also go upwards. A little flick in the wrist. Fun experiment with holding it a little tighter. And try a little looser. Some people, 
even I sometimes hold it with two fingers like this, just like it's a bit of a cradle for it. Now one question I get a lot is, what's the difference between an ukulele pick and a guitar pick? So, a guitar pick is made out of plastic and they have different thicknesses. A really skinny pick is really floppy, a really thick pick is really hard. These are made of plastic, the ukulele picks are made of felt or sometimes leather. There's a really big difference between the sound of a plastic pick on a plastic string. You can sort of hear this really weird plasticky sound. It's a very clear sound, but it has that kind of annoying plasticky thing. If you like that sound though, just do it. Rock out. You just have to be careful not to hit your pick on your uh, the body of your uke too much because I'll show you what I did to my poor guitar. So that's what my pick did. That thing there is supposed to be the pick guard, but it didn't exactly protect my my guitar too much. I tend to go a little bit crazy when I'm on stage, but your uke doesn't have a pick guard and the felt pick will be a lot more forgiving on your uke than a plastic pick. So then that's a really hard guitar pick that I have. If I use a floppier pick, let's see what this sounds like. You can sort of hear it hitting against the body sometimes. kind of annoying. You want to try not to do that, but when you're there rocking out, who knows what's going to happen. Now let's hear the difference between my felt pick. It's a little bit more muted, a little bit softer sound. Maybe you like that, maybe you don't. Up to you. And then here's the fingers. And what I want you to do, if you are playing a single note like that, I want you to actually push your pick down into the next string when you pluck it. Instead of plucking outwards like this, then you never really know where you are. You have to always... So if I rest it down there on the string below, I always know where I am. actually pushing down and I'm even putting a little bit of pressure on that string. Instead of going out like this. You're a lot less accurate with that one. You can also do down and up with your pick. That's where I can't do that with my thumb. If I do it with my thumb, I just have to do two plucks. So that's where the pick allows me to be a bit more efficient and a bit faster. Let's do a little comparison of what the C major scale sounds like if I use my thumb, if I use an ukulele pick, or if I use a guitar pick. Here is the fingers. With the pick. And a guitar pick. So there's a quick overview of how to use a pick, why you would use a pick, and a bonus of how to get it out of the inside of your uke once you've got it stuck in there. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
As always, subscribe, like, share, and thanks for watching. Keep strumming, keep smiling. We'll see you in the next one.